I want the top. Woo! Welcome to the show. My name is Emmanuel Rodriguez, aka E Man. If I look familiar, well, I am. Right now, I'm flying solo from my Just Crew mates here in Japan in the wonderful city of Fukuoka. Before the competition, I spent some time checking out the sights and sounds of Fukuoka. Now that's hit the spot. And when you think of Japan, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Sumo. So when in Japan, do as the locals do. Today we take you to New York City. I'm here to explore the origins of breaking and how it's become a global art form it is today. And my guide to the scene is the one and only Alien Ness. The president of the mighty Zulu kings who are credited for starting the breaking culture. Breaking was popular amongst the youths and street gangs who roamed the parks of the South Bronx. It's in these parks that breaking was born. Fighting was replaced by dance battles. One such park is St. James. So, what's the advice you could give to kids that want to start a crew and just get into breaking in general? It's got to be more than just the dance. You know, if you really want your crew to, you know, survive the test of time, we got 40 years now, you know, and it's for a reason. That's our man Alienist and the Mighty Zulu Kings. It was a long flight from the Big Apple, but now we're here in Seoul, South Korea, for the Red Bull BC1 World Finals. It's gonna be insane. Let's go. I'm about to take you into the rehearsal space of the Red Bull BC1 World Finals, where some of the B boys get to throw down their sets and mentally get ready for the competition. I've been allowed access to jam with some of the B boys. Come check it out. Oh, this is where it all happens. This is a jump. I could tell they were holding back their best breaking moves. It's great that the b-boys can all hang and train, but to be honest, you can cut the atmosphere with a knife because every b-boy in this room wants the prestigious BC1 world title. We are now at the pointy end of the competition and the stakes have never been higher. It's the 10th anniversary of the BC1 and we have featured 16 of the world's best b-boys. We are now down to the final two. Manir and Hong Ten. Drop the beat! Battling on home ground, Hong Ten wastes no time pulling out his signature moves. Hong Ten delivers originality that wows the crowd. That was crazy, that was the finals. Hong Ten, man here. I gotta give it to Hong Ten, man. He was just feeling it, the crowd was feeling it. The moment of truth. Who will be 2013 Red Bull BC1 World Champion? Congratulations again to Hong Ten, Red Bull BC1 World Champion. Woo! Can you show just everybody your belt back at home? Yo, I got this bad. 